Good afternoon. My name is Terry Morgan. I am here to introduce my new venture, Channel15Radio.com, old time radio drama for a new era. I am the founder of Channel 15 Radio. I am also one of the co-founders of the Wudan Research Association, a publishing and consulting firm. We've been around since the mid-1990s. In 1996, I created and published one of the first English and Chinese language websites on the internet. I have a history in the Chinese martial arts, and that is one of the elements in the story that is featured on channel15radio.com right now, The Ambassador by Terry Morgan. Yes, I wrote this. It's science fiction, it's martial arts, it's fun, it's family-friendly adventure. It's a story about an older woman who leads a tight-knit team to protect the local neighborhood. Together, they must find a way to defeat the invading Old Mary. Now, in my story, all of my characters are heroes. Everybody's a hero. They have differences, they're different generations, they're different races, they come from different cultural backgrounds, but they come together. And the story is about that. It's not about the bad guys, it's not about a bunch of broken relics that have to figure it out. They have to figure it out, but they're not broken relics. They're all extremely good at what they do. My characters live in a world where excellence is expected. Wits matter more than firepower, and friends are the best. That world is a world that we'd all like to live in. Mm, yeah, we don't. Um, I can talk about some of the things that are not quite ideal in my own world. I'm sure everyone else can too. And that's part of this story. That's part of what we want to do with Channel 15 Radio is give people a reason to smile. Recognize that no, this is a perfect world and we don't have a perfect world. We'd like one, but we don't have one. So what do we do? We can talk about the imperfections we do that quite often. We can look at what else we might do. We can have some conversations and we can have some smiles too. That idea that as we are listening to the story, as the characters go about their lives through the story, there are times when they cry, there are times when they smile, there are times when they're angry and upset, there are times when they're happy and having a great time over a nice plate of noodles with a beer at dinner. That idea that everybody sits down at the table, everybody has a seat at the table, that there's food on the table and that we can enjoy it together is also something that happens frequently in my stories and it's something that we want to invite all of our listeners to consider as they're listening. Maybe that's what you're doing while you're listening to our story as you're having that nice plate of noodles and a beverage of your choice. In developing what we're doing one of the things that we have run into is the need for funding. How do we continue to develop the show and pay the bills and take care of what we need to do in the process? That is partly why I'm here. We have something that we are going to offer, which is both a combination of entertainment, 
which is what the show is about. It's entertainment and engagement. One of the difficulties for folks who are less mobile or not able to get out or they have some constraints in, in where they're going and how they go is engagement. How do we connect with other people? How do we relate to other people? Our show provides a vehicle for that. We have two things that happen at the same time and then a bonus offering in the month. As we are preparing this new offering, the first thing that we have is the show itself. Slightly different format than what we have had in the past. We've been on air for about two years now. Slightly different format, a little bit more engaging, and we're offering our listeners an opportunity to come backstage with us and listen to us talk about how we're creating these characters and read the script with us in the news, which goes with the new show, we do talk about what we're doing and we talk about what's going on in this particular episode, whatever that happens to be, it's intended to be a monthly. There's a picture that our um, artist has drawn to represent a possible uh, view of what this scene might look like, or one one frame, what that might look like. Inside we have some script, some discussion of the characters, and this is the perspective of both the character and the actor. So as the author of the story, I'm offering our readers a chance to understand what I intended. When the actor presents this piece, the actor's offering our readers a chance to understand how the actor took what I created, interpreted it, and created the character that only is created by that actor. Another actor could read the same character and would portray that character just a little bit differently because they are a different person. That unique human quality is something that we absolutely are going to preserve. All of the work on our show will be done by humans. Most of it's being done by me right now, but it's going to continue to be done by humans. I may engage with AI to do some things for us, but the show, the voices, the characters, and the writing will all be, and the illustrations and the sound effects, everything will all be human created and human built. That sense of human quality is something that is part of the show, it's part of each and every one of the characters, including the AI that's in the show, right? I created this back in 2020, long before the recent AI boom. That idea that we do have an opportunity to engage with an AI and that we can do it well and that there are many things that an AI can do to assist us is part of my hopeful future. In writing the story, one of the things that happens is the ambassador, her team, the crew of the Magellan, and the ambassador's old friends go out on a couple of missions. They're out in space somewhere. What's a letter home sound like? If I was writing home from somewhere that I can't tell you where I am, I can't tell you exactly what we're doing, but I do want to keep in touch. What might I say? Dear mom, 
We've been out here for a while now. Remember when I was first assigned and I told you this was the biggest ship that I'd ever seen? Well, it seems to get smaller day by day. Goes on. That idea that someone is out there, they want to ride home, they're going to talk about who they are. They're going to talk about their feelings. They're not engaged with where it, whatever the coordinates are. They can't. And that is part of the story. That is part of how we present what we're doing. That human quality. That sense that we're bringing you, our listeners, into the conversation. That you could be sitting here in a chair right next to me. And maybe you're one of the characters in the story. And that idea is also very much a part of what I wrote into the books and what we want to bring to channel15radio.com. In thinking about how I might present the story. What's the story? What are we doing here? What kind of story is it? Tell me a story about princesses and kings with swords and jewels and magical things where the heroes could be me and the tales they tell of worlds far away carry me home. That kind of story. That was me. I wrote that. The characters take care of each other. The adventure is comfortable. There's some, there's some moments, but it's not edge of your seat, oh, build the excitement kind of adventure. It's the kind of adventure that we think about, that we plan, and that we want to bring our friends along so they can come too. That was part of my motivation in writing the story in the first place. I was in COVID lockdown and I wanted to go out to dinner with friends. I wanted to go out to play. Let's go do something. Well, we can't. So I wrote about some friends going on adventures and it turned into five books and we have a nice promo for the radio show as well I need to mention that all of the work all of the effort is intended to do two things first when someone listens to the story, they listen to the dialogue. It's going to tug at the heartstrings just a little bit, and then it'll make you smile. Second one, to open that door to imagination, to open the door beyond what we can visually see, to use audio to engage folks who might not have a lot of other engagement and to give everyone a little bit of hope that tomorrow is going to be better. It's not it could be, it's going to be. As my characters go through all of their relationships, all of their encounters, all of the things that happen in the story and that happen with them, hope, hope is 
what I wrote. I invite you to join our adventure. It's going to be fun. What do you think, Ma? I think we got a chance. We could. It, it seems like we might. Robin, what about you? You think maybe? Yeah, me too. I hope you do too. Thanks.